Oh, the Steve White Trek Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, it's finally official. Um, I did a video the other day saying that basically um, Paramount had accepted Skydance's deal and it was pretty much going to happen that um, there was like a 45, 45 day um, go shop or something clause. Basically, it means if anyone else comes forward with an offer, they can accept that and get out of the deal. They would actually have to pay them out $400 million if they did, but they still could out get out of that deal and go with someone else so they come along. So I didn't think they would really announce anything until that was done, and it really was done. But um, there's been official statements from Sherry Radstone and some of the other people who are now involved in, I guess, running Paramount. Um, <clears throat> David Ellison is now the CEO, and um, he's backed by Redford, um, Redbird, sorry, um, they're a company that basically, they deal with money. I don't know what they do. I'm not a money person. But um, they're backing it. They basically, they needed the capital, the money, the whatever. So these people came in. I guess that's what they do. But um, Jeff Shell, who was the president of NBC Universal at some point, but was removed after he was revealed that he had a long-term affair with um, a co-worker. And I'm guessing it was someone, I, I don't know anything about that. But he's basically going to be president. Um, they're basically, Skydance is paying $8 billion for, um, basically to buy, um, national amusements, and by doing that, they basically own a controlling share of Paramount, so they essentially own it, and, and basically can control what happens and what doesn't happen. Um, they're paying $4.5 billion, um, to shareholders, including, um, people like Sherry Redstone, who, Redstone, who is like a, um, I think it's like, I think they, it's like class A or something. Um, they're going to get $23 per share, whereas class B people will get $15 per share. And um, basically they own 70% of the company and 100% of the um, class A shares. So they really are in control of everything. But this won't actually take effect until like the, apparently the third quarter of 2025, if it happens you know, if no one else comes up in the next 45 days. But I doubt that's going to happen because it's been so long. There's been so many um, suitors at the door sort of knocking and um, Warner Brothers, Sony and all that. And Sherry Radstone apparently vetoed all of those because she wants to maintain the legacy of Paramount and keep the company together. And all the others were interested in breaking it up and selling it off. And, and she didn't want any of that. So that's why she didn't go with any of those deals and why they've gone with this one. And there have been certain statements basically saying that that is sort of what the intention is. And probably the most surprising thing is that they're not getting rid of Paramount+. Plus. I think every studio wants their own streaming service, but I think they've all realised that the future is bundling. So they all have their own companies, but you'll basically pay one fee to access all of them. So they all get their little piece of the pie, um, I think. And it's kind of basically gone back to what cable was. So... Um, it's interesting, it's weird. I mean, they have spent all that time setting it up, pulling it down doesn't make a lot of sense, but yes, bundling it with other companies so people don't have to decide. Myself, I just occasionally stream for something for one month if there's a show on I really want to see, maybe two months, just the, the time that it um, airs, like Sex and the City, um, the, 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 the reboot for that, the, um, sorry, the, uh, the sequel to that, and just like that. I joined Stan, a local um, streaming service here in Australia for like two months so I could watch those like eight episodes um, and that's probably the last time I subscribed to anything other than Amazon and that was to get um, free postage on, um, it was a trial, so a month trial and free postage on um, a, a Transformer basically is the only reason why I got that and then I had to look at some things while I was there but there was nothing I went there for. Um, so a lot of people, they don't want to be coming home at the end of the day and trying to work out which streaming service is what on and having to work out what I'm paying for, what I'm not paying for, or paying for them all and having um, the negative sort of experience of what cable ended up being back in the day. So it's, it's all sort of looks very official and I don't think anyone's going to come out in the next 45 days and make a offer or a better offer. I think this is going to happen. It's going to go through and Paramount is saved, which I'm glad. Paramount is my favourite company. 20th Century Fox is my second favourite, so I'm really devastated that that is no more. It's just like a compartment of um, 
somewhere in um, Disney somewhere and, and their catalogue is wasted and they have it's just gone. It was just eaten by the other studio and that's what Sherry didn't want to have happen to Paramount. Now the good thing about all this is the rumour, which I've kept to the end, um, because when Warner Brothers and Sony were approaching um, Paramount, I was hoping they would shake things up and change how everything is set up with Star Trek and there was a talk that, that was going to happen. But then when Skydance got involved, they've already dealt with um, Bad Robot and um, um, Secret Hideout. They've already um, done business with them. So I thought, well, they're just going to continue on. Nothing's going to change. The rumour is when Skydance was involved with Bad Robot and um, um, Secret Hideout, they weren't happy. They didn't want. They didn't. They did not have a good experience with Alex Trebs, and, and they do not want to maintain a relationship with him. And he's going to be gone. Now that is music to my ears, which is why I doubt it's true. Because there are people who just tell people what they want to hear because they're going to watch their videos. And some of the people I, one or two of the people that I, I watch videos for, I do consider they're probably just feeding me because I'm kind of their base in, in a way. Because um, we see them doing it on the other side with the chuds always feeding their base and telling them they, what they want to hear. How many times have I heard Kurtzman was going to be fired or he was out or he was gone? Um, and that's because that's what I want. So so I'm not sure if it's actually going to happen, if it's a real rumour or if it's just more, you know, fodder. But um, we'll see. I was going to do a whole video about that because I got really excited when I heard that. And I'm like, it's probably just telling you what you want to hear. Just put it at the end of the other video going into more detail about the actual um, deal and the, it looks like it's really going to happen. And if it doesn't, it'll only be because someone else comes along and gives them a better deal. So either way, Paramount is sort of saved and fortified and um, Paramount Plus isn't going anywhere, Star Trek isn't going anywhere, but hopefully different people, because the bad side about this is a lot of people will be fired. This um, Paramount wants to get rid of 500 million um, worth of... Um, people basically and, and they want to um, tighten things up and um, Skydance wants to um, cut about two billion worth of fat so that's the negative side of it but um, the positive side of that is some of it, some of those you know people might be people like Alex Kurtzman who weren't doing the best job um, but we'll see I'm going to go for free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think bye